Naked, naked, and yes, guys, it's time to get naked once again. <laughs> What's up, 23% Nation? It's your boy, Coach D, and guys, I'm back with part two of this amazing video series, How to Love Yourself Just a Little Bit More. So guys, without any further delay, we're going to dive right in, but I got to tell you, this video is going to be amazing. Why? Because yes, we're going to get naked. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, guys, so in the second video of how to show ourselves a little more self-love, I want to talk about two very prominent problems that people have in general that help prevent us from loving ourselves. So let's talk about problem number one. Unfortunately, it's called perfection. That's right, guys. For some reason, people want to be perfectionists, meaning everything has to be perfect before we can take one step forward. So when it comes to pictures, I mean, now I love technology as much as the next person, but technology has moved us into an uncertain area of being perfect. I mean, whenever you take a picture or whenever you take a selfie, now we can easily manipulate pictures to cover up flaws. So nobody wants to show their flaws. So therefore, everybody wants to be perfect. Or how about when people want to create their own videos or when people want to start creating their own YouTube channels. We have to have perfect lighting. The script has to be perfect. Their words have to be perfect. And so if it isn't, then we get upset. And lastly, if perhaps you have thought about starting your own business right now, there is a, a line out there and it says that Often people suffer from paralysis by analysis, meaning everything about the business has to be perfect before we can make one big move. So the business plan has to be perfect. The marketing plan has to be perfect. The product itself has to be perfect. So what ends up happening is we end up doing nothing for the business all because we want everything to be perfect before we attempt to make even one sell. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to get beyond this unrealistic ideology of perfection. Guys, nobody is perfect. However, we can all strive to make major, major improvements. All right, now let's talk about problem number two, which is judgment. That's right, guys, being critical, <laughs> okay? But not only does it, shall I say, start with other people, it normally starts with ourselves. That's right, guys. Unfortunately, we as human beings, we are often extremely judgmental against ourselves, which then lends us to be extremely judgmental towards other people. How many times have you looked yourself in the mirror and said, I'm too fat, I'm too ugly, I'm too this, I'm too that, right? I mean, we probably could stand in the mirror all day long and pinpoint all of our flaws, right? But how often do we not do that? Well, in a little while, we're going to talk about the solution. And then guys, it doesn't stop there. So if we're willing to look at ourselves in the mirror and pinpoint all of our flaws, we also will be judgmental against ourselves, whether we're in school or even if we're at work. So let's say that you think you deserve a raise, but you're unwilling to talk to your boss. It's probably because you don't think that you're good enough for the raise or you don't think you're good enough for that promotion. Well, believe it or not, guys, Coach D is here to let you know that you are worthy. That's right. So problem number one is perfection. Problem number two is judgment. So, guys, now that we have discussed not one, but two problems, let's now focus on the solution. Get ready because here it comes. All right. Tip number two slash solution is this. 
Now, for some people, this is going to be easy, but I believe that for most people, this is going to be rather difficult. But let's try it anyway. <laughs> okay, so here we go. First things first, let's take a look at ourselves in the mirror. But this time, we're not going to have any clothes on. That's right, guys. It's time to get naked. It's time to get into our birthday suits. So, guys, that's all you have to do. First step, strip off all your clothes. Second step, take a look at yourself in the mirror. Now, hopefully, it's a full-length mirror that where you can see yourself from head to toe. And, it, and it'll even be even better if perhaps you can see yourself from the side and maybe even from the rear. This way, we have 360 degree to look at all of our beauty. That's right, guys. I said the word beauty. Why? Because we are beautiful beings. That's right. Now, here's the second part of that. So after we have stripped down into our birthday suit, right, this is what I'd like for us to start doing. Find one thing about your body to fall in love with. That's right, guys. So today we're going to find just one little thing or big thing, <laughs> OK, to fall in love with. So let me ask you, is it your nose? Is it your eyes? Is it your hair? Is it your skin? How about the fullness or the thinness of your lips? What about the length of your arms? Are they skinny? Are they muscular? Either case, love it. How about your abdominal area? Is it big and chunky, right? Do we have uh, love handles? Do we have muffin tops? If so, love them. Do you have a six pack? If so, love it. Now turn to the side. Take a look at your butt, right? Is it big? Is it droopy? Is it saggy? Is it a bubble butt? <laughs> okay, I don't know, but whatever it is, however wide it is, however narrow it is, however bubble it is, or however flat it is, love it. Now turn back to the side. Take a look at your, shall we say, genitals. Oh yes, Coach D went there, guys. Fellas, take a look at your penis. Now chances are, you probably want it to be bigger, right? Well, so what if it's not as big as you would like for it to be? Whatever the size, whatever the shape, whatever the color, love it. Ladies, take a look at your genitals, right? Is it shaved, not shaved? Love it anyway. Now let's continue to go downstairs. Take a look at your thighs. Are they muscular? Are they skinny? Are they full of fat rolls? Whatever the case may be, love it. Now, how about your feet? Are they big? Are they small? Are they flat? <laughs> okay, it really doesn't matter. Are they infected with some type of fungus? Love your feet anyway, guys. Coach D's objective today, ladies and gentlemen, is, to, is for you to not only stop judging yourself and to stop trying to be perfect for everybody, but guys, it's time for us to take time for us. That's right. Person number one is you. So stand in the mirror, take a look at yourself from the front, from the side, from the back, and find just one thing, just one little or big thing to fall in love with. And that's it. And I can almost guarantee that if you can start loving more about you, then guess what, guys? You in turn will begin to love more about others. So in other words, love must start from within. Therefore, it can then show itself among other people. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all that Coach D has for you today. So I want to thank you for watching. I definitely want to thank you for listening. Please subscribe. And guys, hit me up with a comment. Now, in order for you to write a comment, and I mean a great comment, I have a question for you. And that question is, are you ready? Because here it comes. Question of the day. Check it out. Which body part are you willing to be in love with? So there's a question. It's a very simple question. It may be difficult for some, easy for others. But regardless, just go ahead and let your thoughts flow from your fingers onto the keyboard and go ahead and write that comment. So once again, 
Our question is, which body part are you willing to be in love with? That's it. Coach D is out. Guys, always remember, Coach D loves you. And please, please, please never forget. Oh, what was I going to say? <laughs> I'll be back with part three. Enjoy. Take care.